a brown pair that Brad's going to pick up because uh, these are badass. They're hands down my favorite shoe that I have. So I had to bring a couple new drops, a couple out of the personal collection. I'm tired of this shit, honestly. <laughs> He's been waiting to do this the entire time. It's show and tell after all. This is a show and tell episode, and I have something to show too, okay? I could be cool as well. And it's not his nipples because he turned the air up because it was a little cold. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, man, I can't believe this is going out to the public. I'm surprised you don't do more podcasts, Topless, to be honest with you. There's the bodegas I'm buying. Here is the new ink. Move the mic. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll put my shirt back on. No, you got to finish. I was going to see how long we could go on the pod with my shirt off, but I can't I can't keep going Make on the sure pod. you blur it out so <laughs> YouTube doesn't have any. Exactly, exactly. So, <laughs> Ric Flair, the Ric Flair character has really gotten to me. You said I broke hell. My life just started, Jack. Yes. Woo! <laughs> <That's really laughs> yeah. So, how did this come to be? Was this just because you had so yes, much time? This is, this is. That's the new ink. I'm very proud of it. Can't wait to. Uh, was this can't wait to finish it. Mexico inspired? Yeah, this was Mexican tattoo. I got it in Mexico. No, I. Uh, how many pesos? <laughs> I just. Yeah. Uh, it would be like. I don't even. I, a, a lot, lot of pesos. All the pesos. Um, you know, I had had my second baby recently, and uh, it just it just I, I, I always wanted like a compass, right? And I was like, I, shout compass, out to Joe Crivolo. Sextant. I didn't know what, what was the <laughs> shout out to Joe Crivolo from. <laughs> Put two and two together. I can't get. You have to tell me after. I don't. I don't get it. The compass. Oh, Jesus compass. Christ. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. my God. Well, you should have put told me to put one and one together. <laughs> yeah. I could have got that. <laughs> Um, you know, I had, I have a five month old and a three year old and I, I just randomly started wanting a new tattoo. Like I always thought I wasn't getting another tattoo and I'm like, you know what? I'm not too old, right? 32, not too old, uh, not to age myself, but I can do it and I'm still cool. I'm still hip. I don't have all these shoes, but you know what? I can get a tattoo. So I started to think like, uh, let's just finish off what I wanted to do earlier. But then I was like, you know what? I can get a compass and a compass. So one compass, actually my three-year-old got to choose. And this, this one is, is symbolic of him. This one's symbolic of my five month old. Um, and they're basically, and there's a ship steering wheel. So the compass obviously is a navigational tool kind of guides you. And the steering wheel is kind of symbolic of my heart. That's why it's over my, center of my chest and um those are my two those are the two people in my life along with my wife and i actually gave the steering wheel to my wife i was gonna say ashley's I, definitely the steering i gave wheel. the steering wheel to my wife yeah. um as well as my heart because uh, she has my heart right one and one um and and so yeah just like but i don't want to give it like but i don't want to overdo it with the meaning right because my whole thing this tattoo all came from the fact that everybody gets tattoos they, they come up with meanings to get tattoos Okay. I think that if you want a tattoo, just get a fucking tattoo. Like, do, do you like that. the art? Yeah. I like the art. Like, I appreciate the art. I, did, I came up with like half of this. With that being said, get something that will stand the test of time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Tradition. That's why this is neo traditional. The yeah. tattoo artist is like the best in town. Shout out to Art by Chris Peters. If you're on Instagram, if you're in Sarasota, Art, Venice, Tampa, Fort Myers, freaking Florida, whatever, fly in. He's so good. Art by Chris Peters. He's amazing. Uh, he kind of brought it to life, but I actually appreciate the art. You know, I like, yeah. I really um, enjoy from start to finish coming up with a slight idea, but saying, hey, listen, do what you want to do. And uh, and he did. And I'm super happy with it. And I can't wait for the rest of it. But I'm <laughs> sorry for pulling my shirt off. <laughs> Dude, He's not just, sorry. Just He's having sorry. a fun time. <laughs> no, like like six months ago before my second child, I wouldn't be sorry. Now I'm sorry because it's like I got to get back in the gym. We have to get back in the we gym. We do need to get back um, in the gym. You know, just excuses, excuses. But we're having so much fun, man. We are. We're having we so are. much fun. Yeah.